practice with a, a, a Florida wall mirror, I would really encourage you to go out, you know, to Walmart, Target, or, you know, buy something cheap, a $15 mirror that you can put in your practice room so you can observe yourself when you play, right? And uh, perhaps it's only a certain part of your instrument, you know, where your fingers start to fly uh, really far from the keys, or maybe it's everywhere, or maybe you have really good finger height, but uh, regardless of where you're at, it's really good um, to try to make sure that when you're moving, you know, around the instrument that you're not doing this kind of thing or that kind of thing, you know, um, coming too far off of the keyboard, right? So now here come the permutations, one up, one down. <laughs> important to try to be creative. You know, one thing I do with today's show is that for the next you know, 10 years, I have stuff that keeps me really interested in revisiting uh, diatonic arpeggios. So now the cell becomes 3 up to 5, down to 1 up to 7. Right? Inners, then outers. So if we did this diatonic, it would sound like this. A lot of what you will see, chord change-wise, is the Thank <laughs> you. 